What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Creepers and I'm here today with another lore video for the next patch to come. In this patch we get a little glimpse of the new champion Fur Furia and we get to also take the doubts that we were having a few time ago. I was actually about to do a video where I was gonna say that the glove that we see on the last picture was not the glove of Maeve where so many people were actually saying that it was and finally here I have the confirmation. If you look right now into the picture on the left side that is Furia and there's already a lot of things claiming that that's Furia. Now let's just look into her hand really quick. You see that symbol on the back of her hand? That was not shown because it was on the back we couldn't see it but now we can see it and if you look into the wrist you see that little shape of a bracelet form that's the bracelet you see on the picture so that is settled that is not Maeve there's no Maeve whatsoever related to this subject and now we're gonna be taking a look into the picture just before we actually take a look into the text first of all as you can see it is really really clear that her hair is really light, so I'm saying that is the uh, the blonde girl from the two pictures that we saw before in the black haired or more brown hairy girl is uh, the one on the right side, which is Ceres. And now here's the thing: if we also look into the description of this, you know, this tweet, which I'm about to put right now on screen, it says two sisters, two fates, defined by the forces of darkness and light. The pyre has taken form. Furia will have her righteous vengeance this Thursday at 2 p.m. EDT. So, this is already giving us a date for when it's going to be released, and not just that. There's this also saying that she wants revenge, which also is related to the theories that we were saying so far. And it also means that she is on the light side. This doesn't mean that she can be on the Paladin side, you know, it can mean that she is on both sides, but this is more sort of like the story of its own, so this is not even related to Magistrates or Paladins, it doesn't really matter where they are, this is a fight between the two of them. And the story that I'm thinking here is definitely, just like I said before, Ceres was actually possessed by a darkness. We don't know the story, the complete story yet on how that happened, but I still believe that Ceres is just a vessel. Her body, the, the sister Sarah, is just a vessel and that she took a former of our champion called Ceres after destroying the city Ceres because it, it was hard to be called Abyss or something. So they just gave it that, or the Oracle. So it was just Ceres, you know, the Oracle that came from the Abyss and destroyed the city. But if we look into the left side, that is Furia, okay? And apparently, I was actually surprised by this. I thought they were going to change the name, and apparently they didn't. It's actually Furia. It's actually Furia. I'm actually surprised. And now, see a little bit. I'm going to zoom in right here. Can you see this behind her weapon in, you know, behind going almost behind Ceres? That's a wing. That's a wing of almost like an angel. But the thing is, I'm looking on the left side, and I can't see the other wing, so it's either or somewhere else, or I don't understand. I don't really don't understand what's that coming from the back. Is that is that her hair? It doesn't make too much sense, because it's not even on the right form. But then, I thought there was actually something related to the weapon. I was looking at the weapon, thinking, maybe this looks like, sort of, like um, a hammer. But then I was, you know, getting a little more attention there, where the words given form is, and it looks like it continues, so it pretty much looks like a sword. It can be a sword, or it can not be a sword. We don't know, actually, but it, it looks like a sword, definitely. We also get to see that if you take a look around the entire picture, this is the book that we saw in the first picture, and behind the, the book, this was also saying Abby plus Sarah. So, okay, we know that there are sisters, because if we also read the, the, the description of the, this picture, it said two sisters, two fates. So, there's really literally saying that these are the two sisters we saw in the pictures. I, I had all, like, I had 100% sure this was it. I was looking at the two pictures. This was definitely uh, Furia holding the pictures and, you know, taking back on the memories on when they used to be normal. Because if you take a look at the hand, she, this is the same equipment that she's using right now. So this means that she is Furia right now, but on the picture, she wasn't yet, okay? Furia had to win her power through this book that we're seeing. She, you know, she studied magic or something just to try to release her sister. Okay, so her sister is trapped as Ceres 
Although I do believe she's not going to be able to do it because that would just... Well, what would they do? They would just take away the, the, the Sarah's out of the game? We don't know, okay? But maybe this is just to show a little bit more of the story. There's a fight, maybe nobody dies, did you? Or maybe just Sarah's in the end just turns out to be good. We don't know. The event definitely is going to be around this. And no other character. Do not think about Maeve. Do not think about Valera. People were saying that Valera was the blonde girl. Valera is an elf, guys. The girl, blonde girl is definitely this girl that we're seeing. I was also saying that the black haired girl, the more dark haired girl, was Ceres for the same reason that I showed you guys. It definitely looks like her. And the one on the left right now on the picture, it looks definitely like the blonde girl. I mean, you gotta be honest. If that wasn't the the blonde girl, would the hair look so, you know, so, so bright? That's, that's what I'm saying. And so we know that they are both supports. They have healing abilities, also damage healing abilities. Because people were saying that this champion is going to be really rewarding to play. She's going to be able to do damage and healing at the same time. A lot of different things. And also can be pretty scary to play with sometimes. At, at the expression of her face, I definitely am taking the conclusion that she is, you know, serious about this. She really wants to bring her sister back from the darkness. So we're going to have to wait and see how that's going to go. So now, just for the last thing, let's look into the text. Curse the abyss, for Ceres has claimed the soul. Praise the pyre, for Fura has been given form. So... This, what you can take from this is definitely, remember the sacrifice? Apparently, the sister Sarah, I may have this wrong, hold up, I was good. So yeah, the sister Sarah, that's what I'm saying, like, Sarah is Ceres. But it does not have anything to do with the name, okay? Forget the name. It doesn't mean it's Ceres because it's Sarah, or Abby because it's Abyss. It doesn't mean shit, guys. It's Sarah because that's her name. She got the name Ceres after she got possessed by the darkness and actually destroyed the city. It's two different things. You're not gonna say, oh, it's, she's, her name is Ceres because her initial name was Ceres. So it's look alike, but it's not the same. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, it, just forget about that. Not even Abby has anything to do with Abyss. That's Abby's name, that's Furia's name, and that's it. She claimed the name Furia. Because Fury means a lot of things like she is in... She, Fury can be translated to, you know, being angry. So she is definitely like a new champion, seria, a serious champion and trying to bring back her uh, sister. And she trained these, this magic where she did something to gain these powers. And now she's on the light side trying to fight the darkness within her sister. So at least we know that the weapon looks like a sword. She has wings. She has a full body armor. She looks like really serious and she looks like the blonde girl. And we see the symbol of the of the city that we saw before on her on her gauntlet or on her glove or something. So at this point, all I can say is we're gonna find out next Thursday what else they have to give us, but I think this is pretty clear so far, guys. The only thing we need to know now is the rest of the story on how did this start and how it is it ending and her abilities. And that's about it. You don't need to know anything else. Don't put Maeve in the story. Don't put Valeria in the story. Don't put Khan, Genos, or anything else in the story. This is it. This is the story that we have to look into. Okay, guys? So that's all for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope... This has brought some information to you that you were waiting, okay? I was waiting already for a lot of days for this to come. So, let's wait for Thursday. Let's see what they have to do. I may have, I, I may end up doing a stream while watching their stream. I will react to their stream probably. So, let's see how it works, guys. If you guys are excited to see that, or either the stream or my reaction to the stream, or even just the commentary, just don't forget to sub. Get there on the day of the, the, the stream. And we'll watch it together and we'll get to know what's coming for Furia. So that's all for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye, guys.